Cypher, India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning team of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Hello people, I'm Varun. And my name is Aisha. Yesterday we saw the Yakshas go up against the Yodhas and today the Yakshas stand at 17 points and the Yodhas have 13. On that note, let's head to our today's battle which is between the Marksmen and the Akramas. Trust me on this, it is going to be epic. Team Marksman! Last time, you guys won Counter-Strike and Dota easily. This time, we have a different plan. This time, we will win Cricket and Tekken easily. Nice! All the best, Marksman! Akramax! आपका नाम सुनकर बाकी सारी टीम्स की हार्ट भी थोड़ी फास्ट हो जाती है, because you guys managed to score the maximum amount of points in the first round of matches. You were on the leaderboard with 11 points, which means you only lost one game, which was Dota. I'm sure all of your team members are really excited because everyone else is scared. Believe me, I've met all of the other players and they know that आक्रमक से बच के रहना है. Kappa, was this the plan from the beginning? क्या? To scare everybody? He's scared from the first time. He doesn't need to be scared. Akramax, all the very best. Akramax! Akramax! Welcome to day 5 of U Cypher. Today we have two stellar teams playing against each other. We have the Akramax against the Marksmen. What do you think of today's game? Both of them are really interesting in the Counter-Strike squad. But their Dota team they are not yet coming to the fore. Last right. time they didn't do so well. Marksman May, they have this upcoming player. I've been hearing a lot about him. He goes by the nickname of Mage. I'm excited to see how the guy improves over the course of the championship. Let's see if Akramax is going to win or not. Afro Ninja, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, confident enough. Do you have to win your first win? Tell me what character are you going to be playing with? I'll be playing with Eddie. But your character last time was Fang. Yeah. So why are you changing? To counter the opponent, I have decided I'll be playing with Eddie. One minute. We have a tried or tested character and your savage victory last time was unforgettable. So why are you changing it now? Part of the strategy. Oh my god, mind games. All right, Akramak. 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 Devraj aka Checkmate is all set to play the first game of the day for Marksman. Devraj, your last game wasn't very good for you. This time, what do you expect? I had risked the first time that the new players didn't take so much seriously. Now, I have to take every player very seriously. Did you tell the level of the game? Absolutely. That's right. Did you have any change in the fighter? I have expanded a little bit. As I can see in front of me, I will pick a player. So, you don't want to reveal it. Team! Any last message for Checkmate? Always on target! Always on target! Always on target! Always on target! Players will select their characters. In each round, the HP will be finished in each round. Every match is a race to win three rounds. And the player who will win the first three matches, will become the winner of Tekken 7. The winner of Tekken 7 will become the winner of Tekken 7. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is a match between the Marksmen and the Akramaks today. It's actually a pretty intense fight between these two players because both have been playing this game for a long time. Round 1 Fight 
it's not looking good for Eddie because he is just getting wrecked. And Devraj is putting up a lot of pressure on him. Well, the rage art is coming out from Eddie, but a perfect block coming in from Law as well. And this is surely gonna be a knockout for Eddie. Round two. Fight. Well, round number two, and now it's gonna be Devraj who is gonna smash his skull and giving him a lot of damage over there. Not looking good for him. It's he's really low on HP. Punch comes in and that's a knockout. Round three. Fight. Well, the round starts with a good note as Eddie is now putting some pressure over Law, but Law is not going to take that. Well, he misses the move, but now he is trying to put him into the corner and the glass breaks, moving him to the another corner of the map right now. He does have the Rage Art to work with, but no, no chance given to him as that clean knockout coming in. And that's a 3 nil wipe. Round one. Well, match number two begins. I don't think so. It's gonna be Eddie for the win because he is not blocking. And look at that pressure building up into the corners. And that's a seven golden letters. That's a perfect on your screen. Round two. Fight. Well, currently Law is quite understanding the moves of Eddie and now he knows how is Eddie playing. So he is understanding those moves perfectly. Look at that pressure building up over Eddie now stuck into the corners again and that's a Round knockout. Three. Fight. I think Eddie needs to step up his game and he has to show us some nice skills. Is he is not able to pull his strength. Oh perfect trade coming in from both of the players. And he is now going to get stuck into the corners again. But no, it's a nice reply coming in from Eddie. But the rage art co comes out from Law and that would surely connect. And it's going to be a surely a knockout for Eddie over there. He goes off. Round 1. Fight. So let's see, it's going to be Law versus Feng for the last round. If Law wins this, it's going to be the last one for him. Well now it's no change in the skills because it's still Law putting up some nice pressure over Feng. Look at that damage and that's a knockout coming in for Law. Round 2. Fight. No chance given to Shaker over there. He is not blocking. No low blocks. So that's a, like a mistake coming in from him. He has to set up a game. He has to read Law how he is playing. Round 3 Fight Well currently Law is like building a nice pressure over Feng because he has read the game and he is not blocking so he knows what is the perfect timing to attack over Feng and down the Rage Art comes out from Law and yes it's just gonna connect and he is gonna end the game with style ladies and gentlemen this is me Jireen signing off for now What an amazing victory. First of all, congratulations. What a fight. You were on fire. You went out there 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. I mean, I felt bad for him watching the game. I guess there's a practice come here. Well, the morale is high. All the best. All the best for the coming games. Right now, the score is Marksman at 3 and Arkhamux at 0. The next game is Drill Cricket 17. This is getting intense. I can't wait for the next game. Let's dive into our next game. This is a batting only match. हर प्लेयर एक ओवर फेस करेगा जिसमें उसे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने होंगे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने वाला प्लेयर मैच जीत जाएगा टाई होने पर दोनों प्लेयर्स एक सुपर ओवर खेलेंगे टू डिसाइड द विनर आई हैव द कैप्टंस विद मी हु आर रेडी फॉर द टॉस यू विल कॉल हां हेड्स हेड्स इट इज चेस करूंगा द आर्कमक्स विल चेस एंड द मार्क्समैन Will open all the very best, Captain. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Kappa, I'm going to go straight into a prediction. 
win or lose? Jitega. Jitega, obviously, that's what Kappa always says. <laughs> but Sagar, Love Essex, I want to ask you, is Bad Jitoge because of your menat or because of your lucky bands? Band ke saath shayda jitne ka chances jada hai. Samne wala player bhi achha hi hai. To khelne mein maza aega. Awesome guys, I hope this second game is better than your first. We kill it. All the best. Game two खेलने के लिए मेरे साथ है marksman से Thakuroit. आपका last game, you guys lost. इस बार क्या differently करने वाले हो? इस बार मेरी strategy थोड़ी different है. I feel game one के बाद आपका morale काफी high होगा. काफी ज़्यादा. Captain, morale तो काफी high है and मैंने ऐसे बोला है कि पिछले game के बारे में मत सोचना. जो भी है ये game अपन जितने ही वाले क्योंकि हमने टेकन में भी दिखा दिया है एंड हम क्रिकेट में भी जरूर दिखाएंगे। All the best, thank you. All the best. Let's go, Marksman! So it's the Marksman versus the Akram Marks, and Rohit Thakur, aka Thakuroid, will be facing the first over for the Marksman. The Marksman are looking confident here, and so are the Akram Marks. This should be a good match. Thakuroid looking focused here. The first ball comes in, and Thakuroid has hit that well. It's in the air. That will go across the boundary for a six. A good start for the marksman. Another good hit, and that will go for a six as well. Twelve from two balls. Looks like nothing is going to distract Thakuroy today. Next ball in, and another six. And that's another six. The Akram marks are looking worried here. It's 18 runs in three balls. And he hits it again and sends it straight into the stands for yet another huge six. The marksmen are running away with this. Looks like Sagar Vyas can't bear to watch. And another identical shot. Thakurait is on fire. That brings the marksman to 30 runs in 5 balls. Can Thakurait be the first player on Yusaifo to hit 6 sixes in an over? The Akramaks just cannot believe what's happening. Last ball. And he's clean bold. He went for a six and maybe that was a little too greedy. The marksmen have made 30 runs in their over. The Akramaks need 31 to win. Come on, Sagar! Come on, Sagar! Sagar Vyas, aka Love SX from the Akramaks, is quite a formidable gamer. And he should be up for this challenge. Come on, Sagar. He will need to score off every ball to win this. The first delivery comes in and he's missed it. That will be very expensive. Winning is now impossible. He can only draw this by hitting five sixes in five balls. Second delivery comes in and he's hit it well down the leg side. And that will be a six. Much better from Sagar Vyas. Everyone here is looking really nervous. Every ball matters now. Third ball in and again Lovers X connects with the ball. Brilliant six. Lovers X needs 18 runs in three balls. That's three sixes. Can he do it? Next ball in and again he hits it well. Another six. He needs two sixes in two balls. Marksmen are not looking too happy anymore. Second last delivery. And another brilliant shot from Lovisex. That's another six. 24 from five balls. He needs one more six to level things. The marksmen look like they have lost all hope. This is brilliant batting under pressure from Sagar. And he connects. It's in the air. And six. He's done it. This is the stuff dreams are made of. Lovisex from the Aftermath. And we will be seeing a super over here on your cipher. We are starting with the super over and Thakuroid from the marksman will be going first. Thakuroid hunched over his phone as always in deep concentration. First ball in and he's hit that hard. Yup, he starts with the six yet again. This is turning out to be a really fierce battle between the two. Next delivery and good shot from Thakuroid. That six makes it 12 runs in two balls. Sagar Vyas has stopped watching yet again. Thakuroid is going wide to play this next delivery. And he's missed it. Oh, hard luck. 12 runs from three. Akramaks are looking hopeful here. The next ball comes in full length. And nice shot. Rohit Thakur is back to playing his favorite shot. 18 from four. He will need to score big from the last two balls 
to set a decent target. And another good shot from Thakur. That will go for a 6. The marksmen are at 24 runs from 5 balls. Lovers X can't help but watch. Last ball in. And he's hit it. Thakur right finishes off with a 6 and hits 30 runs yet again. Never seen Lovers X so nervous before. The aftermarks need 31 runs from there over to win this. This is it. Lovers X looks like the only calm person in the room. Let's see if he can do this again. First ball in. And he's hit it well. But that did not go all the way. The fielder gets to it and Lovisex will get 3 runs for that. The Akramaks need 28 runs in 5 balls. Next ball in and he's connected well. But oh, the ball bounces just before the boundary for a 4. 24 needed from 4. We are back where we started. The marksmen have already started celebrating here. Next ball in and yes, he hits it hard. That's a 6. Lovisex is still in this. 18 needed from 3. This is going to be close. Next delivery comes in. And he's missed it. Sagar Vyas has missed his only chance of beating Thakuroid. It's all over. He will play the last two balls to be a sport. And that's a six. A little too late now for Love Sex. As we say, each ball matters. Final ball in. And as we expected, he has lifted it. Everyone appreciating his efforts, but Thakuroid from the marksman has won this and gained 3 valuable points for the marksman. Looks like the pressure can get to the best of us sometimes. Mirashir, what an amazing performance. You have put so much pressure on him that he couldn't even get up. Consistently, 5-6 in the first match, but in the over, maybe 5-6. Fantastic, fantastic. If you talk about momentum, right now, you are at 6 points on the scoreboard and Akramax are at 0. What a start to the day. Congratulations and all the best for your upcoming matches. Let's go, Marksman! As I always like to say, it's time to bring out the big guns. Let's play CSGO by Valve Corporation. In this game, there are two teams. One is a terrorist team and the other is a counter-terrorist team. This is a team-based game that will play in 5 vs 5 format. Which map will play in which map will play in the players? This will be a banning process. In the start, both teams get $800 की गेम करेंसी मिलती है। The aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it, or kill all the counter terrorists. The aim of the counter terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. इस मैच में 30 राउंड्स होंगे and the first team to win 16 rounds is the game winner. In the case of a tie, the result will be decided with a race to four wins. पहला दो गेम हार चुके तो कम्बैक करने का तो अपने को ये दोनों गेम जितना पड़ेगा कप्पा खेलता है कनेक्टर उसे काफी आदत है आगे आगे घुस घुस के खेलने की कनेक्टर के अंदर आने की ठीक है तो मेन स्ट्रेटजी अपनी मिराज की बी शॉट और बी होगी लास्ट मैच में जो गलतियां हुए वो रिपीट नहीं करना ह� MVP player is playing with him. Last time, he didn't win the game. We didn't win the game. We will win. We will use our side. Focus and finish. All is on target. Go Hawks man! All is on target. Go Hawks man! Do this. Go! 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 The captains are standing next to me. I can already feel this passive aggression between you guys. Kappa, you had near flawless victories in the previous match of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket against the Crusaders, right? And today, the odds are not in your favour. Look, there two games Okay, Kappa seems really confident. What are you feeling? We are prepared for them. Uh, they are a very aggressive team, so our plan is to play on the defensive side initially and to see how their aggression is staying off. So clearly, both of you know each other's gaming styles. 
This is dripping with nerves, confidence and a lot of excitement. Let's dive straight into the game. CSGO. This is the map Vito and now let's see what do they choose. And it's gonna be Inferno! Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of the U Cypher. This is gonna be CSGO between Marksman and the Akramax. So let's see. Well this is gonna be the knife round right now and let's see who's gonna be the winner for the knife round as they can choose the size after the knife. So Marksman have won the knife fight and they chose to be as cities so this is gonna be pretty interesting because Inferno is quite a city sided map so let's see who's gonna win this one it's Marksman versus Akshamox ladies and gentlemen well the fight begins and it's gonna be SMX who's gonna take that shot oh my god he's down and now it's gonna be Paul who's fighting for his life but Rix is there with the backup well nice tag team coming in well Badman got first frag and second frag as well two headshots straight in a row what an amazing fight and Veerbhadra he's gonna shut him down with a headshot well now it's gonna be Venom who's gonna camp towards the alley and he's gonna get this first frag over Manan. Well a nice smoke coming in just to block a vision first frag, second frag, third frag as well. What the hell is going on? Instant kills coming in, going for the ace and pistol shot. What is this coming in from Venom? I got a direct so I got a free kill on the side. I didn't expect that I would stand now with a 3v5 advantage over the Akramax, a two-man lead where Vibhadra is trying to save and the Akramax are entering to just get Vibhadra down there but one frag, second frag as well, mistakes coming in from the Akramax and it's only going to pay off. Slow in with a nice aggressive posy towards the house. Well, Flash is popping in, Riggs going for the first frag, and Batman just giving an exchange frag over there and now it's going to be slow in going with his draining frags. Kappa who's gonna come in from back and shut down Veer Badra and last guy is gonna be shut down that's Venom he's gonna get shut down by SMX well Morine is going in but that nade what a mistake coming in from Mithil ooh backstab coming in from behind but it's not gonna pay off because the teammates are already there it's raining frags everywhere making it a 3v3 situation for both of them not looking good for both of these teammates because a push coming in from behind was actually was a punish jaise un log banana gaye mujhe sound aaya teammates sabhi info aaya un log ne jaise hi trade kiya to main wahan se nikla aur mujhe dono mile udhar hi maine maar ke khatam kar diya it's gonna punish him off and breaks coming in from behind nice backstab getting those two instant kills well Eight to six the scoreline currently and now it's gonna be the last round for the first half. Well Batman with a nice shot coming over there and Kappa managing to get one more frag towards Ali. It's gonna be Venom who's gonna go down and Reed up with a nice angle towards Ali uh, but he got flashed and he has to back out. Oh nice shot coming in, Manan nice read there was a boost coming in for the player. But now a 5v2 situation for the teammates and Veerbhadra just trying to spam and I don't think so it's gonna connect you bullets but whoa what a shot coming in from Veerbhadra but Manan from back is he gonna stab him and yes! वो नाइफ जब हुआ एग्रेशन तो हमने फिर उसके बाद मैं बहुत ज्यादा एग्रेसिव हो गया कि भाई अब तो इनसे हारना नहीं है ये मैप ये मैप जीतना ही है what an amazing half to the Counter Strike game between Marksman and Akramax. The score was 9-6 in the favor of Akramax. They made an amazing comeback today. The map again that has been selected this time is Inferno. Yeah, again. It's become both consistent in our tournament. Mein. Right. It's basically because it's a very balanced map and super play by Akramax, especially by Mithilev. Right. He stepped up the game again today. Right. And the sixth round, which was won by them, was all yeah. because of him. In the sixth round, Mithilev alone killed five guys and managed to change the momentum, bring it back in the favor of Akramax, and then they went on to win what nine rounds in the half. So they are in the lead right now. I am really excited to see what happens. And the second half is going to be very important. Let's go back in the game and find out if the Akramax can win it. Well, now we're gonna see the second half for this game as the scoreline stands 9 to 6. Lead on the Akramax side. Nice three three round lead coming in for the Akramax. We were time we had to plan on the spot, on the fly. change And we decided that we had two smokes. We had four 
बी बजाएंगे सब जगह आवाज करते well he is managing few frags too easy frags coming in for him well a rotation being made from the city side as well with well, venom is just raining frags each and every round he this guy is a beast well nice kills coming in those trades were awesome but slowing try to make an entry towards mid and yes he does gets a frag over manan but now falling back the team rotations have been made pawn getting those easy frags on batman and one more frag as well fight ke andar hi baitha hua tha usko maine bola bhi ke aake tu maar de trade kar de wo log mere taraf dekh rahe sab log tere ko dekhenge bhi nahi lekin uska red hp tha iske liye wo fight ke andar baitha hua tha on over time over the well mithil also goes down smx the lone guy left over here he is going to manage one frag wait for the second frag as well but no he couldn't do it ladies and gentlemen this is going to go for an over time mera jab spawn aaya to maine bola ki ab to main op utha raha hu aur jo bhi mid pe aage aayega na usko main maarunga isliye mujhe pata tha wo mid pe nade karne zarur aayega it's going to be slow and he's going to make an entry towards the bomb side a and mithil is going to shut down Well he's going to make an entry towards bomb site A and it's going to be Manan who's going to get shut down and Kappa coming in with that frag over Veer Bhadra well he is going to go down well that's a mistake not to stand too much when you know when your flash well a mistake did pay off and yeah it's gone it's gone forever the op has gone Well flash is popping in and now it's going to be Batman and an instant trade coming in from Pawn as well so a 4v4 situation छुप के बैठा था और जैसे ही मुझे साउंड आया वो लोग के फुटस्टेप्स का तो वो उसका मैंने एडवांटेज लिया और उसके बाद तीन किल उठा लिए और जो लास्ट गाय था वो मार नहीं पाया मुझे तो मैंने उसको फिर पिस्टल से उसका किल ले लिया Well, it's going to be the second half now and Slowen is going to get punished and Venom is also playing aggressive towards the alley. Well, he's going to shut down Manan and it's going to be Batman going down as well by Rick. Well, not looking good for the Arkham Marks as this is going to be the last round for Marks and if they win this they are going to win this match. Well, a one man advantage as well and the smoke and molly combo not good. Well, we but still managed to pull down Kappa over there. SMX coming in from behind getting a frag over Venom and we but shutting them down but it's going to be Pawn. He's going to shut down Middle and they are the winners, ladies and gentlemen. Well, marksmen, 19 to 16, they win this. It's gonna be sweet, easy five points for them. At a total of 19 points, we have the marksmen who won today's battle of CS:GO, guys. This was unbelievable. We didn't know what was going to happen till the end second. You guys reached 15 each, and then we went into overtime. जब overtime पहुँचे तब कैसा लगा? जो mistakes नहीं करने चाहिए थे वो mistakes continue किया. Last match में भी हम लोग ने same mistake किया था, और same player ने किया था. वही same mistake overtime में भी repeat हुआ. उसके वजह से आ रहे. और कुछ सीन नहीं. Who is this player? S M X. Wow. वही अच्छा भी खेल रहा था. लेकिन थ्रो भी उसने ही किया सो यू गैस क्लियरली हैव टू अप योर गेम राइट वेनम यू अचीव ट्वेंटी सेवन किल्स विच वॉज अनबिलीवेबल आई थिंक यू एंड वीर भद्रा वर्ल्ड जस्ट द मोस्ट सॉलिड द मोस्ट फॉर्मिडेबल टीम फॉर कप्पा टू गो अप अगेंस्ट आप तीन गेम्स जीत चुके हो आज यही एक्सपेक्ट करे थे वन यू स्टेप अप योर ऑन द यू साइड फॉर स्टेज टुडे नहीं मैं एक्चुअली टेकिन और क्रिकेट डेफिनेटली एक्सपेक्ट कर रहा था सी एस में स्ट्रॉग लाइन अप सो मैंने रात को बैठ के काफ़ी स्ट्रैटेजीज बनाई थी एंड काफ़ी अपने बॉयज़ को बोला भी था कि थोड़ी मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी एन इजी गेम और वही हुआ ओवर टाइम में हम जीते तो इट वाज अ वेरी क्लोज गेम वेरी अनएक्सपेक्टेड मैन बट देयर स्टिल वन गेम लेफ्ट फॉर यू टू मैनेज टू क्रीप अप ऑन दैट लीडर बोर्ड गुड लक द मार्क्स मैन आर ओनिंग द लीडर बोर्ड बट देयर इज स्टिल वन मोर गेम लेफ्ट कैच अस आफ्टर दिस शॉर्ट ब्रेक ऑन न्यू साइफर टू वॉच एन एपिक गेम ऑफ डोटा टू वेन इमेजिनेशन मीट्स लॉजिक on India's only multi-platform multi-gaming e-sports championship you cipher my sport my superstars right now we are heading to the last game of the day which is Dota 2 by Valve Corporation Dota 2 mein har player apne liye ek hero select karenge is game mein do teams compete karengi in a 5 versus 5 format har hero ke paas special powers aur abilities hoti hai 
हर टीम का ऑब्जेक्टिव है अपने एंशंस को डिफेंड करना और अपने ओपोनेंट के सारे टावर्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देना जो टीम पहले एनिमी टीम के डिफेंस को तोड़कर उनके सारे टावर्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगी वो टीम जीतेगी All right, I have Itachi from Marksman and Grape Soda from Akramax. Both the captains from Tota are under pressure because on the alag-alag responsibility hai. You have to get the last five points and you have to show them कि हम लोग कितने dominating हैं. तो क्या सोच रहे हो अभी? जो पहले तीन गेम हम जीत चुके हैं तो वो हिसाब से एक boost भी मिला है. तो last ये points भी five points भी हम लोग cover कर ले तो फिर और भी बेहतर पड़ेगा leaderboard पे आने के लिए. And what about you? जीतना है बस यही सोच रहे. Do you think you can defeat them? Yes, yes. Easily. Easy victory. So, marksmen are aiming for a clean sweep. Wow, we'll have to wait and watch. All the best. May the best team win. This is going to be an interesting matchup. I can't wait for it. So, let's join the action. Welcome to episode 7 of U-Cypher season 1. Akramux will take on Marksman today in a best of one. Akramux is going to be on the Radiant, Marksman is going to be on the Dire and this game is about to commence. I'm CloudX and with me, Vivek. Mid lane, uh, Sniper does manage to catch out Pashu there with the Shrapnel Blue Frog giving chase. Has he got a point in the cogs? He does. He catches Pashu. Pashu trying to break out of the cogs but they're going to hurt him. They're going to push him back and Blue Frog should be able to run him down. इसका कॉल था आई थिंक स्नाइपर को ही बुलाने का तो स्नाइपर को बुलाया शार्प में आपने डाल के किल कंप्लीट किया टॉप लेन मैक्स ऑन द बैट राइडर ये इस टाइम इट जस्ट बीन न्यूसेंस टू मेंज बट मेंज इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेकन कूड ब्रिंग हिम डाउन ब्लू फ्रॉग द गोइंग टू कंटेस्ट द रून एंड माइट बी पनिश्ड ये टॉप लेन मेंज does manage to drop a deep observer bot, so it seems as if the marksman want to push early and why not with the Pugna Grave as well as the anti-mage all by themselves. The blast connects on the two and Viper just pushing through, manages to bring down Grave with that extra vision from the Thunder Strike. Yeah, that bot's paying dividends. They do see Grave, they're going to glimpse him back. They've caught him in the kinetic field. They've got the Enchanter, the Fisher, the Blast. Then absolutely schooling Grave on the Silence layer. That's also a tier 1 that's been taken down. Now in the jungle, you've got Max going for the stacks here. He's gonna get a fair bit of gold, but the fight's about to break out because Pashu sees him, slaps him with the static storm. The kinetic field as well, but behind, you've got the glimpse coming out. anti made set all the way back again, and it looks like he's gonna make a break for it, but Viper's here, and no one's taking note of him as he brings down Max. Maxman! Three love already up to game in the score, Raj. Do you think you can take this home? Yes, that was the target initially, and up to the next level, we are taking this home. You saw the nice sport, nice super stars. This is the first clean sweep for the marksman. I am super excited. My head is out of the way. Excitement. I need a short break. You guys take a break, and after the break, we'll come back and defend our engine. यहाँ आक्रमक्स के डगाउट में बिल्कुल सन्नाटा है, because they're under tremendous pressure in their last game of Dota 2. Kappa, what's going on? आ रहा है और कुछ नहीं करना चाहता हूँ. Things are getting super tense over here. Let's get back into the game and see if the Akramax managed to secure even a single point today. Meanwhile, mid, a tier one's in jeopardy, but Max is coming in with the moving speed from the drums. He's running right at them. They get the lasso off and they've caught the Viper, pulling him back into the sniper's loving arms as he brings him down. Top lane, make believe needs to be careful. There's a static storm along with the decrypt and the blast. That's a lot of magic damage and they will take the killing spree away from the anti-mage. This could be another push from the Marks mid. How did the Akramaks respond? 7 to 12, what a bloodbath 16 minutes in, but it looks like there's a hook shot. Good jump in there from Blue Frog. Mage will be able to get away, but the retaliation from Red and the Disruptor will seal Blue Frog's fate. Itachi got in a bit of trouble. Max giving chase here. Red 
He's in the vicinity. Pashu's there as well. Then a sniper is wrapped around on him. Dream sets his sights on Pashu and brings him down with the bat side of providing the vision with the firefly. My team came offline. Pagna was playing with the sword. He put the sword on him and put the sword on him. And Pagna was attacked by his player. बस हम लोग ने उनके बैटर को मारा और तभी सलेन सर ने उसको बचाने की कोशिश करी लेकिन वो भी फेल हो गया मैं बस जो भी सामने आ रहा था उस पर एक दो अटैक कर रहा था उनको जोन रख रहा था जबकि मेरा कैरी रैक्स लेके ऑब्जेक्टिव ले रहा बेस वो उनका था लेकिन मैं बहुत फ्री हो रहा था जैसे कि गार्डन हूँ इन बी द डेथ ऑफ ब्लू फ्रॉग एंड द टीएफ एट मेड इन ट्रबल बट वाइफ वाज बिजी हर्डिंग द बैक इनटू द बेस या एब्सोल्यूट डोमिनेशन कमिंग अप फ्रॉम द मॉन्स मैन दिस इट इज ह्यूमिलिएटिंग Oh look at this! They've got Grave. They've got him in the eight. Or some fishers there. Itachi got looking for his opening. Gets the echo slam. Gets a double kill. Brings down the silence as well as the sniper. The barracks under siege. How do the Aftermonks defend? They're going for the tier fours as well now. We could see a response coming out. The mana void will shatter the frog now. But then the hook shot from Blue Frog. It's also going to catch Earthshaker. So that's two down on the side of the dire. Now make believe. Looking for more. He's gone for the viper. Viper's really low, but Mage sees him in the face and takes him apart. Sends him back to the fountain. As he blade furies out to safety himself, the ancient stands, and it looks like marksmen are going to try and back away. The omni slash, or rather the sniper headshot, doesn't quite finish the job. But the GGs are there, and it looks like the deal has been sealed. Akramux will suffer a loss here at the hands of marksmen. We have come to the end of the day and for the first time in U-Cypher we have a clean sweep which means the marksmen have won all four games of the day. Thank you. Thank you. The marksmen now have 16 points and the Akramarks did not manage to salvage a single point till the very end of the game. Kappa, you were quite confident that at least last game you guys would turn around. But what happened? The mid player is my strong player. मेरे टीम ने कहा कि उसको बेंच करते और अपन कुछ नया ट्राई करते तो वो लोग के हिसाब से ट्राई किया इसके आगे कुछ नहीं सुनने वाला जो मुझे कहना है और करना है वैसे वो ही सब में टीम चलेगा But let's talk about the marksmen who have completely floored us all and have reached the very top of the leaderboard Venom what's going on in your head right now are you dying to just go and celebrate Yes definitely that's what I'm going to do but I'm proud of my boys I'm glad ki koi overconfident nahi hua and focus ke sath wo log khele I hope they keep doing this We have come to the end of our day and I have to say marksmen have clearly proved that they belong in U Cypher yes. They say winning is a habit and these guys, the marksmen, are making it pretty simple as well. Started with a win versus the Akshas, now blanked completely the Akramaks as well. And this is a side, the Akramaks, who were touted to have perhaps the best CS side in the entire league. But you've beaten them at Tekken, beaten them at Cricket, won CS and won Dota as well. And you were MVP at CS. That's got to be a, a pretty good day out for you today. Yes, it was because uh, my... Uh, we had we share a rivalry uh, yeah. against these guys, and I wanted to defeat them yeah. because Akramax, these guys, you know, blabber a lot, they talk yeah. a lot. We personally hated those guys. Yeah. The vibes that I was getting through those those guys was you know very disrespectful. Right. So uh, my plan was to you know dominate them and show them that if you want to talk, you have to prove it with yeah. your game also, and that's what we did. We didn't talk, but we showed them in game who's the best. Well, you guys have certainly proved that in game. You talked about having a young side. Eh? It's clearly coming together quite nicely. I know we've only, you know, had one game before this. We're into our second, but the sense of nice bonding coming together, isn't there, with the marksmen? Yeah. So uh, when I formed this team, I formed it on friendship, and I wanted that bonding to be there, no matter even if I don't get experienced players. Yeah. Me and Rix are two of the core yes. of the team. We have been playing together, so we took that load that we'll uh, give them the experience and the skills which those guys have. We'll uh, tell them to you know show that and uh, leave the experience to to us because once we start playing, everything will merge and if the yeah. if that bonding and friendship is there, that will take us forward, not yeah. the solo skills because it's a team game. Yeah. So if the bonding and chemistry over, overall is good, then you have to win and you will win. Well, the experience is there, the skill set is there, the youth is there. 
It's tick, tick, tick from the marksman. It is two out of two, 16-0 versus the Akramaks in this one. With that, we have come to the end of day five on New Cypher Naya Sport Night Superstars and the leaderboard looks like this. The plot thickens as the competition grows richer and now everybody knows not to take anyone lightly because everybody is going for the kill. To watch every detail of today's gameplay, you can log on to usports.in. We'll see you guys tomorrow, same place, same time. This is Usypher, Naya Sport, Naya Superstars, a U Sports initiative. This is me, Varun. And I'm Aisha. Do, Do you Usypher. Cypher.